Is that you, Bunny? Mm, no, that's not me. I'm oh, right. Yeah, right, guys and girls, welcome back to another video of mine on my YouTube channel. My name's Anthony Kenneth Bishop, and this is another sort of video, gaming video. Um, going to be talking a little bit about the Xbox One X. Now, I'm not too sure whether to buy the Xbox One X or not because I do not know if they're going to have actually proper exclusive games or if the exclusive games means they're also going to be for the Windows 10 edition as well so that means that, um, the exclusives that come on the Xbox One X will also go over to the Windows um, 10 store so I can download them there so that way you can do them on multi-plat on the time that way um, you can do both anyway um, so how powerful is the Xbox One X now there's been a lot saying that the Xbox One X is quite powerful that it's going to do native 4k 60 FPS frames games at like 4k 60 frames per second some people say it's going to be checkerboard rendering that means a bit like the playstation 4 pro the way it does basically it still looks good but it's like upscaled from 2k from like i think like 1800p which is still good i mean come on it's a console after all what do you expect out of a console and the visuals are good like that horizon dawn that is a flipping awesome game on the ps4 Pro and I recommend that game to anyone. It's probably one of the best games I've played. I've only played like about an hour into it, two hours something like. But it's one of the best games I've played so far. Um, story driven, pretty good. Uh, so what I'm doing at the moment, I'm um, playing Metro 2033, the Redux version of the first one. Now this is based off the publisher's book and stuff. This is actually based off the the story novel, and then they turned it into a video game about like um, a post-apocalyptic war with creatures that are underground in a sort of a Russian sort of territory area where it's all underground and they're not allowed. Well, they're not allowed outside of the place unless they wear sort of a mask otherwise they get fucking toxins and gases down their throats and all that um radiation and all that kind of stuff and then they end up turning into creatures and all that shit so before you go out there you have to wear these special gas masks and stuff which kind of um takes away the toxins but then again you run out these sort of like little um oxygen um what they call them the little gas things you put into your mask the little mask knobs and you start turning them and basically they give you more oxygen but you've got to keep collecting them this is a quite a good game um, this is probably one of the top games that have actually run on any PC if you can run it at 1080p 60 frames per second that's fucking awesome but if you can get it to 4k 60 frames per second <coughs> That is extremely awesome. Now, my settings at the moment for this video card. This is the GeForce GTX 1070. This is an 8 gigabyte uh, card. So it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM on it. And this is just an awesome thing. Now, anti-aliasing. That's where it gets rid of all the jagged edges and all that kind of stuff. Like the, You'll see some sort of like the edging and stuff go a bit um, like messed up. But when you got it at 4K, you don't notice it because it's so wide, the pixel, uh, pixels are so small. So you really don't see that blurriness in the textures on the side of the maps and all that. So really in 4K, it's it just gets rid of it. So really you don't need anti-aliasing. It's only, if you put, say, two or three, four times, now that's going to take your CPU away. I've got the Intel... 6700 it's eight core processor but it's got four threads so technically four cores really actually if you think about it four cores well four threads eight cores four threads um cpu and it's a uh, 3.4 gigahertz for each thread 
So that's pretty awesome. Well, or for all calls actually, because on my thing it says uh, eight calls on it, but four threads. So technically it's a quad call, not an eight call, because uh, they're not actually because there's four physical calls, and they're just doing their work. So the multitasking is pretty fast. Anyway, it's a good card. Anyway, with CPU and all that all mixed in. And I've got 16 gigabytes of GDDR, actually it was DDR4 RAM on my um, Asus Maximus V8 uh, board. Uh, I've had this ages now, I've had this since like two years or something. Anyway, so I put it on 38, 40, 21, 60. Now, if you put it up to 40, 96, 21, 60. Now, that is 4, 4K. That is 4K, but that's actually native 4K. Uh, but most TVs don't really support 40, 96, 21, 60. The most, um, the, I mean, the wide, uh, widthness of it, the long ways and all that, you don't really need that because it's too wide. Now, for normal TVs, say you got got um, 16 by 9 TV screens, which is like sort of the, the TV's normal TVs we have now, the 4K, HDR and all that. It's 38, 40, 21, 60, and it's like 16 by 9. So I usually just keep it at that, which is almost the equivalent, I would say, almost the equivalent to an 8 megapixel camera, which is 8 million pixels. So, yeah, not too bad. Um, now, for the graphic settings for the Xbox One X, it's very, very hard to determine if they're going to get it at a native 4K, 60 FPS, and say this game, say, um, let's just use this as a template. Now, if my corrections are right, the equivalent to the Xbox One X is the equivalent to a GTX 1070 that's what I heard I heard it's going to be the equivalent because or well the equivalent or near enough to the equivalent of a GTX GeForce 1070 that's why it's costing so much because they're putting so much in it and it's going to have a sort of like um, tubes in it as well cooling tubes or liquid cooling tubes inside the Xbox One X that means it's going to be even cooler. So it's going to have its own liquid cooler in it um, to keep the CPU cooled down so it doesn't melt and it doesn't give you the red ring of death and all that. So that's going to be good. That's good. They didn't make their mistakes from the first Gecko when they actually bought out the Xbox 360. When they bought the 360 out, you had the problems of the red ring of death. Now, uh, a lot of it for the Xbox One, the Xbox One S, uh, actually, I find, to be honest, the Xbox One S is fantastic. I'm glad they put a 4K um, sort of a media drive in there for Blu-rays. And also, you can watch uh, 4K Blu-ray films in there. And they're also bringing in it, the Xbox One X as well, which is going to be fantastic. I hope I'm not talking too fast. But um, and I hope you can understand what I'm saying. Anyway, so let's get um, into this. Now, if my calculations are right... What I think they could be using, right, because they're going to be maybe using checkerboard rendering. It's obviously they're going to use checkerboard rendering to actually get up to 4K or try and get to a near enough 4K. So they could end up going like 1800p like the actual PlayStation 4 Pro. But don't forget this is actually, I wouldn't say this is exactly the same as a PlayStation 4 Pro. Trust me, this is actually, I would say, 20 to 30% more powerful than the PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, why is that? Because the PlayStation 4 Pro has 4. Point, I think it was 4.2 teraflops of compute power. Now, the Xbox One X or the Scorpio I should say because that's the original name for it or for the original name for the CPU is the Scorpio CPU which is actually I think it's going to be a Jaguar it's going to be a custom made Jaguar 8 core CPU which is or actually APU um, accelerated processor unit now 
my beneficial things on it, my opinion on it, I think what they're going to do, because basically what um, an APU is, is where they have the graphics card and they have the, the cup or the CPU exactly combined onto one chip. Uh, and they also need to get the chip as small as possible so there's not much heat so it doesn't produce much heat and if it gets too much heat it can probably end up melting the system and that's not what they want and it could end up set fire to the house uh, or people's houses but I think they've been doing this now for a few years now a couple of years two years building this system up so in a way it should be good I'm not too sure if it's going to be worth the money though I think I might just leave it for a little bit, wait to see what uh, the reviews are about it. But um, for the settings, if they're going to do a sort of a checkerboard render, they probably, um, even if they get to a native 4K, I would say 38, 40, 21, 60, but then they would have to turn down some of the quality settings. So let's just use this game here, uh, Metro 21, um, 2033. Let's use this as a template. Now my settings is they're going to have uh, no physics on. So the advanced physics are definitely a no-no. They've already probably proven you can't do it on the PlayStation 4 Pro. You can't have the physics on the... Um, I was been playing a little bit of uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. And I noticed they did not have any physics in that game at all. They didn't have like the little banner at the start of uh, the Asylum game of it. Um, of Batman Arkham Asylum. Which is a shame because I thought because it's powerful enough maybe they would add it. But then again it would put strain on the CPU and the GPU um, all together. But... Um, yeah, anyway, the Xbox One X is going to have six teraflops of CPU or GPU equivalent compute power. Which means, yes, theoretically, it can do 4K. And seeming this um, Xbox One X is the equivalent to a GTX... Let's just say it's the equivalent to a GTX 1070. Can they get it? as possible to a 60 frames per second solid right let's test it on this game so my settings is right resolution 3840 2160 high quality i've got 16 gigs of ram so that'd be extra i'd say four yeah four uh, gigabytes extra of ram on top so not really that much and it's, they're going to be using GDDR5 RAM as well. So that is um, a lot better than, um, I would say, a lot better than DDR4 RAM. Maybe. Um, but we'll soon find out when it comes along. I know the PS4 Pro has GDDR4 RAM. Or GDDR5, I should say. So, here we go. So, anti aliasing or... Super anti aliasing That's off because you don't really need it with 4K. Uh, texture filtering. I've put uh, anti stropic filtering on four times. Uh, that just gives a like better uh, textures. Makes the textures look a bit better. Uh, motion blur. I'll just leave to normal tessellation. I don't think they'll use tessellation in it. Um, because they would want a decent, decent fast CPU using the graphics up and all of that. But I'll leave it on normal, seeming this is the equivalent to the GT. Um, this GTX 1070 is the equivalent to the Xbox One X. And V-Sync I'll leave on because you need a solid thing. So they'll probably lock the frame rate to 60. Or maybe they might have it unlocked to see if they can get any extra um, extra power out of it. And that's all we really need is just that. And I've got all that to normal. 
uh, subtitles hints uh, advanced physics I'll keep that off because that actually that will kill your CPU the physics and the GPU it will kill it depends it depends because I've used the physics before on that and it goes down really fucking mad it goes really mad um, so let's try it anyway let's give it a shot we'll go to Alright, Spartan. There we go, we'll try that. Fuck it. And do this. So, right, this at the moment is locked at 60 frames per second. I can see it locked at 60 FPS at the top. It's gone to 57. It's just mo moving. There we go. 58, 54, 52. This is because it's 52 frames per second. But you can see my what my settings 48 now 49 47 and this if they do release this game they said they're going to be releasing a lot of the older Xbox one games to the point where you're gonna see it a lot of games compatible with the Xbox well actually not uh, some but a lot are going to be compatible right so at the moment this is doing 60 fps now when there's a lot of these creatures on screen then we shall test oh, okay. okay 50 Okay, I'm doing 57, 58 frames per second. Actually, it's running quite... I would say it's running quite smoothly. Hang on. I need to change my controller a little bit. Because I'm using the Xbox One controller. I'm using the game on Steam as well. So, uh, sensitivity, I'll put that there. Aim sensitivity, roughly the same. Alright. So, I should be yeah there we go a little, a little bit faster right so what we need to do we'll test the late um tessellation on there it's running quite smooth actually doing 57 frames per second actually no, can't. Uh, uh, let's pick up these little oxygen uh, tank things on there Okay, and then let's go in here. Alright. Mm, oh, some spiders up there. Woo! Alright. Flip these, turn these off. Alright, turn on flashlight. There we go. I should can open. No, um, right. Let's jump across here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Actually, it's quite nice. Actually, in 4K, I would say it's quite smooth. I'm not really getting any jitters yet on here. Like any, um, Seems like nobody's home. any jiggering. Right, so now this is the gas mask. I've got to put my gas mask on. So if I go here, press this. This basically stops me from getting radiation poisoning. Now, the lightning on you is perfect. It's fantastic. This is the Redux version. This is not the original one. The original one was unoptimized, but it still ran really smooth. Um, but I will do a original. I'll put this as a Redux version. Right, this is doing 50, drop down to 54 frames. Oh, it's because there's a lot on here now. A few. Alright, it's down to 48 frames. So it does, it drops around 48 at the moment, but this ain't the, the actual, the big one yet. Oh. 
I love this game. This is just a fantastic game. I might have to do a proper live stream of this at some point for you guys out there and girls. Let's open this. Are you ready? Let's get to the charge. Oh, here we go. There we go. Right, this is going to bring some tessellation to it now on the CPU. As you can see, there's a little bit of stuttering already, and I'm just going outside. A little bit of jiggering around. Actually, it's not too bad though. I like the the actual area. You can see all the lightning and all that. I love the lightning areas where it's all lighted up like a Christmas tree. They've actually made a good job of this one actually and I can't wait for Metro 3 coming out very soon. Especially this year I think but I haven't really completed the first and the second one. I've only just doing tests for it all. Oh, okay at the moment we are doing 51 frames, 49 frames. Uh, 50 frames. So it's sticking around, I'd say, at the moment, sticking around. Well, the lowest is about 40 ish. 40, I'd say 44, 48 frames per second so far. Now, this is going to be it now. This is going to be the, the strain. This is going to put strain on the CPU and the GPU. This is not um, a custom chip though. This is actually... Ah. Okay, so I need to swap filters. Alright, 54 frames. Not bad, not bad so far. Forty two, forty three. So forty two, forty three frames. Forty oh thirty nine, thirty eight. Oh okay. So drop down the lowest it went, the minimum of the lowest. Thirty eight frames. Now it's gone up to sixty FPS because fifty three, forty five, four fifty eight. Because there's so much going on on the screen, so the more you got on there, the there we go, 39 frames per second. Then, was never easy in the so the minimum I would say is about 38. There was the lowest. In in Medium, the I would say. After day. But since the I would say 52 would be the medium frames per second and the max is definitely stuck up as 60 frames per second but because I've got it locked at 60 FPS I would get more I'd probably end up getting a lot of frames out of this but I've uh, locked it in at 60 FPS because 4k in 60 frames per second that's all you really need especially when I'm playing it on an LG 60 well 4k HDR TV it's pretty cool I love it oh so about all the talking guys and girls but it's definitely this is definitely worth the the bucks oh yeah, we're gonna look at the textures on that I'll be um, awake at last I see wow well, after he's just woke him up <laughs> Artyom, Artyom. I might have to do a live stream of this. Definitely a live stream. Okay. Can I, actually, I wonder if I can flip this back. Oh, yeah, you can actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's go, Artyom. Yeah, let's go, Aldin. Let's do it. Let's get to the channel. What are you two looking at? Yeah, Nikolai. 
mission can't survive much longer if these attacks don't stop. We must do something. What more can we do? And actually, we've also, with the Xbox One X, right? But I think, I'm hoping they'll do it with the Xbox One S as well. That way I won't have to um, subsidise to actually get in the Xbox One X. I can stick with my S. I would, um, I hope they get the original backwards compatibility for the original Xbox games as well. And actually, what would you guys and girls think if they ever made a remaster of um, Max Payne 1 and 2? I would love to see that. I think that's by Rockstar as well. I'm not too sure. Might be a different. Actually, I think it might be a different company. But I love Max Payne. I think Max Payne 1 and 2. They were the first ever games to come out with that bullet time mode on it where it can slow down. Um, the kills and shit so you can slow down the characters and blow shit up probably one of my favorite games of all time on the playstation 2 and the original xbox sound like someone having an orgasm for a minute then the patient's on the bed going <laughs> oh yeah i love the colors You'll see the tessellation when they open the door as well. I've turned off the physics as well. Because normally you would see in the physics. You would see some of it. But as you can see. You can see some of the jagged edges on there as well. On his arms. A little bit of the jagged edges. But it's on the characters a little bit. Bit blurry as you can see. It's a bit like pixelated there. Good to see you, Alex. Hello, Artyom. What do you want me to do? Carry your bag for you? No, oh, get out of here. Most of what I hear is about exhibition. I'm no slave. Dead infesting your tunnels. <laughs> so yeah, um, I do love this game, but I will have to do a live stream of the first one and the second one for you guys and girls at some point. And then complete both of them. Maybe do like a I don't know, live stream at some point. But not too sure yet. I will have to try and book that in at some point. Sometime. But I do hope um, they bring the live streams to the Xbox One as well for the YouTube. So that you can use your Xbox One to live stream. I don't care if it's in 720p to be honest. Like they're doing with... Um, with their own beam and all that. How dare you lock me out? Oh my god. He's going to kill me. He's got a gun on me. Oh, he wants me to grab a gun. Grab a gun, do it. See, oh my god, I've got a Clint Eastwood uh, magnum here. Or python anyway, at least. Come on, come on. Oh, so I can hear some bells. Oh. Yeah, man. Where are you? Oh, he's coming. And dirty Harry. I bet you're thinking, how many bullets have put in this gun? Have I got one? Have I got two? No, I got two loads. <sighs> no, you're certainly not coming out of that fucking little. Oh, there we go. Got him in the head. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, my God. Leave me alone. How dare you? No, you dirty, filthy bastards. Ah! Oh. How dare you? Trying to poke his head out of that little, uh, whatever you call it, shaft. There we go. Are you all right? My God, about... 58 frames not bad though i mean still smoothish no dark ones here just the usual tunnel trash even when you don't see them the dark ones are there fear i want to kill you 
I don't like you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm the Terminator. The Dark Ones are not simple mutants. They're Homo Novus, the next step in evolution. You've heard about survival of the fittest? Guess what? We lost. What happened to you, Alex? He's had an aneurysm. That is what he's got. I'll hang on to whatever life I got with teeth and claws. And I'll take more than a few of your... Oh, I love this game. Definitely love it. Anyway, guys and girls, I'm going to finish off here. If you guys and girls enjoy all the stream, if you enjoyed the stream, do like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And if you heard that big fart at the background, that was my mum. So, anyway, guys and girls, if you actually enjoyed the fart as well to go with the stream, do like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And cheers for watching, guys and girls.